So make sure you download us Excel. Now we will go through what we mean we mean in the last lecture. So last lecture we talk about some F. We talk about frequency. Okay, how many of you have, have tried frequency? Yeah? I have an Excel with two different bins. Okay, basically two different bins give you different uh, I mean frequency graph. Okay, so this is uh, I before I come here I use uh, the five points data bins to create a graph which is totally different from, from this one. Okay, so you can try it by yourself so as to uh, practice it. Now what's next? Okay, so it's about frequency. Okay, so uh, there's a very clear and I mean I mean not mention indicator to uh, for you to proceed to put a graph. Now another thing is called VLOOKUP. Okay, so when will you use VLOOKUP? Mm, basically, uh, I I don't think you will use it, but for me, I need it. I really need it. Okay, so although it is uh, under recording, I will show you some. Uh, some a personal secret. I mean, it's not not my personal secret. Okay, I have to click it fast enough. Okay, or people can see can see what what are things here. I, it's, this is the worst part of uh, being recorded. Hey, what? Where is it? Where is it? I cannot find it. Okay, I uh, help me to look at it. Ah, okay, this this thing. Okay, three and five zero. So my course. Okay, so take let you to take a look at here. Okay, yeah, for people reading and recording, so don't look at the mapping. Okay, so basically uh, what I need is, uh, I take an example here. Okay, this is example. Okay, good. So I pick out an example. Okay, don't let you see it. Okay. So the example is like this. I create a form, basically I create a form. Ask people to fill in a student ID, okay, name and email address, okay. So, why I need this form? Because I want to collect uh, how they form groups, okay? We don't have a specialized grouping system like yours, okay? I use this kind of Google form to do it, okay? Now the problem comes. What is the problem? The problem is, usually people will fill in their correct, correct student ID, okay? But then, usually they will fill up very, very funny, I don't know why. They will spell their own name wrong, okay? Only the spell or say his name is called uh, uh, I mean uh, Peter uh, Peter uh, T Y Wong. Okay, I'm not Peter. Okay, so I make it in the you know, wrong name. Peter T Y Wong. But in Qsys, in Qsys, their record is not Peter T Y Wong, right? It's something uh, I mean uh, totally different things. Okay, so if I follow their name, I cannot look up their their real identity. Okay, so I believe in their student IDs. Just like here. I believe in your student ID. I never believe in the names that you type in. Okay? So why I ask for it? Because uh, usually uh, this is very helpful. I encounter at least three or four cases. People type wrong student IDs. Okay? Either give me nine digits. I don't know why. If it's lucky, then it's a 1155, five, right? Usually they miss one five. That's good. I can still know who the guy says. But usually the, the missing digits is usually the last digit, okay? Then I, I cannot guess who are you, right? So I will use the name. But in our application here, basically I want to do one thing, okay? Give me a student ID, you give me a student ID. How can I query your name, right? As simple as, as this. Now the basic utilization is like this. Say the... I, I changed the application a little bit, okay, for you to understand what is the purpose of it. Build up, okay. Say, in this application, I I don't know the Chinese name of some famous singer, okay. I say it's, I don't know. I only know their English name. So when I type in the English name, okay, how can I look up their Chinese name without the introduction of VLOOKUP? It's very simple for you, right? Control F, yeah, check key. Jackie Chan. Ah, then I find Jackie Chan. Okay, here. And then I will, uh, by, by magic, okay, I do a copy here and, and I don't know, paste it here. Then I know that, oh, Jackie Chan is uh, uh, okay. Now, the problem comes. It requires your manual effort. 
Okay, you have to do the things manually. Oh, next time people type in a uh, type in I don't know Alan Tam. Okay, then you do a uh, control F. Okay, Alan. Okay, and then find out Alan Tam. Oh, it's called this name. So basically, you cannot do it automatically. Okay, to do it automatically. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we basically have one uh, formula to act, I mean, uh, automatically do the control F and you say that, okay, you look for this column, then what are the target column that you want to report to? Basically, you can choose whatever columns you have. Now, I will show you this formula, okay? So, what is the first lock here? The first lock is, I expect you to enter in your string, okay? In fact, into my previous application, I may require to input the student ID, and then I use the student ID to look up your true name. Okay, now here I check in English name. So then you cannot find any equations here, right? No equations here. Now I type a uh, say. What I want to automate is I don't need to type control F in order to search. Okay, I just need to type in Jackie Chan. Okay, and then I type enter. Immediately this cell will become the search results. Okay? Now imagine that there's not, not just a few rows, but 200 rows. Okay, then it will be very, very uh, convenient, very handy lookup program. Now how to type the equations, okay? You can look at my examples here, I already filled it up, but here is the lecture, so I will clean this up, okay? If you don't want to clean this up, okay, you first look at what I type and why I type in that, that things and try together again, okay? So let's go, I will cancel it, delete it. Okay, so what is the meaning of VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP contains one thing, okay? First, usually there's the first column that you specify is the thing that you input, okay? Say I only input English name, okay? Then I will have a VLOOKUP statement here, okay? VLOOKUP. Now, what is the first hint? The first hint is, you have VLOOKUP. And VLOOKUP will ask you, hey, what is your input cell? You input something for the query, okay? In my example, the query cell is just above it, okay? So very easy, you type in, okay, just click in, or you type uh, E2 in my example. Then what's next, next uh, comma? It's asking for what is the meaning of table array. The table array is the data, is the data. Now remember, only the first column, the first column is the data that you, you will use it as the key, the searching key, okay? The keywords that you want to search. Like here, Jackie Chan, the keyword is the, is the first column. It's a requirement, so I will highlight the first column here, okay? This is my target, okay? But this table requires you one more thing. Okay, remember one more thing is that you just you don't just fill in the, the key that you want to search, right? You want this, say, this uh, M10 to map to another thing, okay? Maybe mapping to here, okay? So that's why uh, in the table array part here, we don't want one column only. Basically, we want one more column, okay? If your table is very big, okay? Hundred columns. Okay, you do the same thing. Either one hundred columns. Okay. Now, what's next? Next is another hint. The other hint is called column index number. Okay, so basically, what's that? It means that what is the output that you want? Okay, what is the output that you want? Okay, I basically want to map from column one, right? Okay, column one to column two. Okay from column one to column two, so I will ask for a report of column two. It means I want column two, okay? Another comma. Another comma, uh, the last thing usually with a square bracket here, it means that it's optional, okay? It means uh, if, if this is a bunch of numbers, I can do a range, range search or a very, uh, I mean, an approximate search, okay? Basically, we don't want to approximate it, I want exact match because they are English, so I will choose false. Okay, so let me recap that. I have an input cell, okay? 
I will use the input cell, say this cell Jackie Chan, to look for this bunch of data from uh, A3 to B12. And my focus is first column, okay? Please look up Jackie Chan from the first column and map the results from the second column, okay? So, enter. Now, how to check? Okay, basically we can uh, change, say that I don't type Jackie Chan, I type another uh, Leon, okay, Leon line. It's become an another name, okay? And you can type in even more things. So what are even more things? Let me do the following, okay? Say I create one more column, I create one more column, and the column is uh, something that I, I can type easily, okay? Uh, gender. Okay, yeah, I hope that I don't get it wrong. Okay, male, uh, supposed to be male, 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 male. Yeah. And then, okay, other, other females. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm correct, good. Okay, so we can uh, expand this example, we can expand the example, okay, by look up one more result. Okay, say I want one more result, I want when you type in uh, this cell F2, also look up is gen the gender of the of the singer. Okay. So basically, I will do the things again. Oh, I make I make it bigger first. Make it bigger. Okay, good. So I will type the look up again. Uh, again, our reference of the cell, the cell that I will key, key in my, my search, okay, is uh, F2. Okay, so F2, and then, now data can become wider, right? I want a wider range of data, because I want to look up one more thing, the gender, okay? So I will highlight a bigger, bigger table there. Now, this is my data, now what is the result? Okay, now the results not the second column, but the one, two, and the three, the third column. So I will type in three. Again, because my search is not a number, usually it is a, I mean, a type in force there for exact search. Good, now I hope that is give me mail. Ah, okay. Yeah, change to another thing, uh, change this. Then automatically, the two cells change together, okay? Do I need to do it again? Can you do it? Do you have any problem? If you have any problem, you can raise up your hand, okay? And I will uh, come to you and fix the problem with you, okay? So basically, um, using Excel, you can already pretend, I mean pretend, pretend you are setting up a, a very strong database, okay? A database, is here, and this is the QE interface. The interface to display result for people to key in and give you results. Okay? I mean, uh, this is a, a little bit a piece of joke, right? Because uh, you will see that oh, the database is here, the lookup interface is here. Basically, this is not the story. We can change the story by doing something called crossing sheets. Uh, referencing, okay? This is sheet number one, this is sheet number two. We can ask sheet number two to refer back to sheet number one, okay? We can do it, and then we can make it up. Excel here, this Excel become a QE interface, and the database is hiding in another sheet, okay? So how to do it, okay? We will repeat the same, oh, oh. we will repeat the same story, okay? But type in a VLOOKUP in another way. Okay, so are you ready? So if you're ready, we will do it together. Again, type in VLOOKUP. Uh, the reference is, again, just the thing that above us. So I just click on it. Now the data is no longer in the same sheets. So how can I refer to the sheets here? Okay, very easy, extremely easy, okay? Just use your mouse, click here, and highlight it, <coughs> okay? Click here and highlight it. So what is the 
the thing that being record. So the thing being record, I will zoom in a little bit here. So the things being record is this part, the V lookup exclamation mark. It means that what is the V lookup exclamation mark? It means the she's name. Okay, I so happen that I call this name because we look up. If you call this she's core, I mean a database. Okay, then it will become. Oops. It will become a B two and then comma a database exclamation mark. This name means that now refer to the she's core we look up exclamation mark and if we finish this this data range. Okay. Now, not the end, not the end, okay? I still need to uh, key more things. I still need to specify this uh, column number two, okay? And also for exact match, so I tap force, okay? Now, if I tap enter, see? I will still have a Chinese name here. Now, if I change to uh, uh, Jackie Chan, yeah. Okay, so basically you can uh, do a one queue interface here. One of the to do the do the queue just like you are doing Google. Okay, you are actually using the uh, Excel. Okay, as a search engine. Okay, this is the queue interface, and this is the things that you want to look up. Uh, you can look up one more one more uh, row just by repeating what I just done. Okay, now in our assignment we will also do this. Uh, but but the, but the application is a little bit different and a little bit of changing in the number of the columns. But still, we will have the components like uh, what is your target? Okay, so this is your target. How many cells you want to look up? And what is the data range as well as the column number? Okay. Any questions? Yes. Force. Force means that uh, basically, if it's true, true means that okay, if this input is a number. Okay, say this is a bunch of numbers. A bunch of numbers. If you cannot find this, if you cannot find this number, if you choose true, it will give you the closest answer. Closest answer. So that means it is an approximation. So that's why it's pop up said that approximate search. But it is not a number, right? They are all English. So there is no such thing as closest search results. Okay? Oh, oh by the way, I didn't try this to you. Okay, how about I type something wrong? I type something wrong. Okay, I type my name. Okay, yeah, basically I'm not a singer. So, so you give me something like this. Okay, now remember in your species exercise, if you find any results with this uh, number sign, we call it this number sign, number sign NA, that means that you're going to have a wrong answer. Okay, yeah, don't continue. Okay, make sure you look up your equation. Is there anything wrong? If you cannot locate what, what are the bugs? Okay, I mean, no, it's not bugs, basically. Just uh, mistyping something. Okay, you can ask your friend. If your can, friend cannot answer you, go to YIA1207. They, they have the servers, okay, and they will answer your questions, okay, in a most detailed way, okay. So remember, if you have this kind of thing, that means that you type the wrong equation. Okay, for assignment one. Okay, but for generic use, okay, this is one of my usage. Uh, of course, my usage is other than that. Okay, usually I will uh, not just uh, look up a bug, uh, ID to a name, ID to a score, ID to grades. Okay, so and so forth. Okay, any questions? Any more questions? No? Very good. Very good. So hope that you can uh, try that. Okay, or I, I will spend uh, 10 more minutes staying here after the lecture, so you can ask me more. Okay, so the wheel up is about search. So the data sorting and the data filtering, we, were, we have tried already last time. Okay, uh, if you have forgot what this is about, it, oh, no, this, not this. Okay, it is, it is about uh, you want to uh, order, order something, okay? And you can uh, choose filter. Okay, you can choose filter, and then you can select a particular entry. Okay, last time we have tried it. Okay, so what else? Uh, the filters are basically the details are here. Uh, some other things like a like a self study. I I call this here. Let me say I 
I won't spend any time in the lecture, but I, I may encourage you to try that. Okay? Basically, this kind of thing is very interesting. Okay? It will, yeah, for me, basically, I will highlight people with zero marks. Okay? But I, I don't want to highlight by myself. Okay? So I will use this uh, conditional format here. Okay? I will skip this. Okay? So for other things, uh, you can uh, basically simply skip it for the assignment's sake, okay? But if you want to learn more, you are well, you're welcome to explore it, okay? So this is uh, the end of the Excel part. Any questions that you want to ask, okay? If you don't want to ask, remember that there is a deadline coming. The deadline is, uh, I hope that you will finish it uh, early, okay? Because uh, this is very close to the movie uh, deadline. You have to film the video. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I have to stop the recording.